So hello everyone, hope you are fine. So basically, Thapar University has taken admissions on the basis of boards. They have taken most of the admissions, and presently they will be taking admission on the basis of J mains very soon. And most of you were asking me that how the admission will take place and what will be the cutoffs, and how can we just you know take admission on the basis of J mains. So yes, that's what I'm going to discuss today. So if you are interested, please continue watching. Also, if you find this video helpful, you can just like the video and you can just subscribe the channel as well. And many more videos will be coming soon, so make sure you press the bell icon as well so that you can just get the notification and you'll let just start. So basically, TIT is taking admissions on the basis of boards and J mains, just like last year they have taken most of the admissions through boards, and now they'll be filling up the remaining seats through J mains, basically through the J mains percentile or rank. And basically, there is no fixed time limit for J mains counseling because it just keeps on happening, and you will be seeing that J mains counseling is happening when your classes are already running. So, so this J mains counseling might go for around one or two months, maybe or maybe two or three months, depending on the seats and basically depending on the remaining seats. And you can just fill the form anytime. They have just kept the form open for J mains because. Because it depends on JOSA counseling as well as some students might leave the college and some might be joining as well based on the JOSA counseling results. So that's why they keep the forms open for JMINs and yeah that's why they just keep taking admissions on the basis of JMINs for around 2-3 months maybe. And recently the people who have taken admission on the basis of your boards you might have got notification that your classes are starting soon. Maybe and you might have also got the notification that your classes are starting soon basically first of all there will be online classes for few weeks i think and then there will be offline classes so you will be called with us only on the campus so yeah that's a great thing and basically they will keep taking admissions on the basis of jmains in between the classes as well so yeah that's it and and basically talking about the cutoffs so nothing can be said about the cutoffs because it just varies a lot and because pattern has also changed this year so the cutoffs might go high or low basically it might go high as well so basically it depends and for reference i can just show you the last year cutoff basically 2020 cutoff for jms and you can just refer according to that you can just and you can just get idea according to those cutoffs that what branch you might get in the counseling rounds and yeah although it depends how many people take admission but you can just take it for reference and there might be some differences as well but you should consider that cutoffs might go higher only and there are less chances that cutoffs will be lower this time but but most probably the cutoffs will be higher so yeah that's it and i'll be showing you the cutoffs so you can just refer that so yes this is college provision website now let's see the cutoffs for 2020 so let's just see the jmins cutoff First, let's see the Punjab cutoff. Basically, first, let's see the outside Punjab cutoff. So, I also discussed it in one of the videos, but you can just refer that. It just, these numbers are just quite high because admission, most of the admissions were done at time. So, basically, these cutoffs are for few remaining seats. And you can just see that the first round cutoff for computer science was around 426 rank, and which is just insane. And it doesn't make any sense that people getting this rank will be coming to Dhaka University. But yes, this was cut off for first round. And after first round, the cutoffs just, you know, changed a lot. And you can just see that. Computer Science and Engineering cutoff dropped to 9400 rank and you can just see all other cutoffs as well for, and for COE branch it was 21647 rank which is 98.05 percentile and you can just refer that for other branches as well and for CSBS they have not given and for CSC at Deravasi campus the cutoff was this 22000 rank around it was around 97.9 percentile and for ENC or electrical and computer it was 97.7 percentile and you can just see the cutoffs and you can just add around 0.5 percentile maybe for this year because cutoffs might rise so yeah that's it and you can just see other cutoffs as well and they have also discontinued some of the programs of 5 year VTech plus MBA so the branches may or may not exist this year I don't have idea and basically these are the cutoffs for round 2 and for round 3 if you see the cutoffs you can just see that computer science and engineering has cut off of 12,821 rank which is 98.86 percentile so it's quite high cutoff 
of course it's quite it's comparable to the nits and of course the neighboring colleges of punjab like pack and nit jalandhar for the punjab state quota if you have the cut off range in this number only so yeah, that's it and for computer engineering the cut off is 27th out rank which is 97.5 percentile for civil it's 92 percentile and these are other branches as well csbs the cut off is 99.7 it's again high don't know how it's high for csc at dera was it's 96.7 so these are the cut offs in round three so you might not get these branches at this percentile in initial rounds so you might have to wait and yeah it just depends how many people accept the offer so that's how the cutoff will be changing so for electrical the cutoff is you can just see the cutoff it was around 94.69 percentile and it's around 50,000 rank and these are some other branches as well for mechanical it was 94 percentile so basically most of the cutoffs are above 93 or 94 percentile only basically most of the cutoff for the main branches are above 94 or 95 percentile only so yeah you should keep that in mind and if we talk about the punjab students for general category the cutoff for round one so for csc the cutoff was 3885 rank which is of course a lot and although it's quite comparable it's not much comparable to the outside punjab but yeah that's it you might but yeah, you might have a bonus if you are a punjab student so cutoffs might go lower so yeah you can just take that benefit if you are from punjab and these are round one cutoffs so you can just add maybe so yeah you might add 0.3 to 0.5 percentile in the branches for these year cutoffs but it doesn't make any sense for csc because it was it will be more than 100 so yeah that's it and <laughs> And for CA it was around 10,000 rank which is 99 percentile only only and you can just see other branches as well for CSC at Derabasi it was around 98.4 percentile 17,000 rank and these are quite high cutoffs compared to you know usual cutoffs that you see of J mains of course these are round one only if you talk about round two cutoffs you can just see that CSC cutoffs have dropped to 98.8 percentile and for CO it's it has been dropped to 95.6 percentile and for CSC Dera it's 93 percentile and yeah that's it and for ENC it's around 91 electrical 89 so yeah it went below it it went below 90 as well compared to outside Punjab because in outside Punjab most of the cutoffs were above 94 for the main branches but you can just see that the cutoff for electrical branches are also below 90 percentile which is a good thing and if you talk about round 3 so the CSE cutoff has dropped to 16,000 rank which is 98.5 percentile which is still a very high percentile and basically it's a very high cutoff as well and for COE it's around 52,000 rank 95.21 percentile for CSE at Derabasi it's around 90.8 percentile and you can just see for electricals as well and you can just see that the cutoffs have dropped a lot apart from the computer branches you can just see that there is a major difference in cutoffs so yeah that's it so that's the benefit if you are from Punjab students you can so you can just get the same branch at the lower cutoff and yeah that's it for the cutoffs so these were the cutoffs now you might have a question that when will they release the cutoff list for Jamin's counseling basically round one counseling so basically it depends most probably they will be releasing within one or two weeks so so last year they released i think around this time only our classes had already started so the first cutoff list for jmins came after our classes were started so you might expect the cutoff list might come within this week or maybe next week depending on the institute and they might release later as well but most probably you might be getting cutoffs within one to two weeks only and yeah that was it i believe you got some insights about jmins counseling and how will it happen and it will be happening in most probably in online mode only so you just have to you just don't have to fill any other form you will be getting a application form and you just have to fill all your details and on the counseling day they will be releasing the basically they will release the cutoff list and you will be getting your and if you have cleared that list you might be allotted a branch as well you can just see on your login basically on your web kiosk 
and you might be able to see your branch as well if you have cleared the cutoff so yeah that's how a counseling occurs and after that you can just pay the fees as well so that you see it is reserved and that's how counseling is done and basically the people who have caught branches on the basis of your board's marks so your name might also be considered for jmens counseling so if you clear a cutoff for branch which is in higher preference order compared to your board's marks so your branch might get upgraded as well so yeah, that's it and if you have any other queries you can just comment down in the comment section and i might host a live session as well within this week only and and you can just ask all your doubts because some of the people were having doubts regarding the orientation and basically all the academic calendar as well so you can, you can just ask those doubts as well in that live session and you can, and basically guys you can just subscribe the channel as well we are near 2000 subscribers so yeah let's just reach the milestone soon and and if you want some other tools of thapar university you can just request you can just request in the comment section and i might go and shoot there as well for you guys and till then you can just you know stay safe and all the best for the counseling the people who are appearing and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much